Assalamualaikum dear friends. Welcome back to my channel Dr. Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet purse. It's very simple and easy. I have made this using granny squares. So it's very simple and easy. Let's start how to make this beautiful purse and how to attach zipper with it. So let's start how to make this beautiful pouch. First of all we need a crochet hook. I'm using 3.0 millimeter crochet hook and double tie wool yarn. So make a magic ring. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. That count as one double crochet and make 16 double crochets in this magic ring. Join with slip stitch to the top of first stitch. So here we have 16 double crochets in this magic ring. Now I'm going to add color B. Insert hook from any chain of the 16 chains, 16 double crochets. Chain 2. That count as one half double crochet. Then make two more half double crochets from the same stitch leaving loop on the hook and make a combined stitch to make a puff stitch then again make three half double crochets leaving loop on the hook in the next stitch and make a chain Continue working following the same pattern. Make one puff stitch in each of the stitches around this circle. Here I have completed 16 puff stitches in these 16 stitches so join with slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and cut off the yarn now it's time to convert this circle into a square shape so insert hook from any of the space between these two puff stitches chain 3 that count as one double crochet make two more double crochets in the same space chain 2 1 2 2 single chains then again make three double crochets in the same stitch to form a corner as you can see this look like a corner now yarn over make three half double crochets in the next space between two puff stitches then make three single crochets in next space between puff stitches and again make three half double crochets in next space space between two puff stitches and in the last three double crochets in the next space chain two to form a corner and three more double crochets in the same space between two puff stitches and then three half double crochets again repeating the same pattern three single crochets in next space and three half double crochets again in next space and three double crochets in the next space 
two single crochets and then three half double crochets you can see it is converted into square form so I will complete these two corners I have completed all four sides so join with slip stitch to the top of first stitch you can see it's converted into a square now make slip stitch to come to the corner of this square chain three that count as one double crochet and make two more double crochets in same space chain 2 again 3 double crochets to form this corner now make 3 double crochets in each space between the spectrum stitches to increase the size of square Join with slip stitch at the end of work to the top of the stitch. So here we have completed this square. For saving time, I have made three more squares earlier. So it's time to join them together. I'm going to join from wrong side. This is side and from back side insert hook from the back of the loop back loop of this stitch and from back loop of this stitch from other side like this you can see join both sides with hook from the back of the loop of both sides wrap the yarn make one single crochet then again insert hook from the back of the loop here and Here you can see I have joined these two pieces together using this single grid. Now insert hook from the corner of this rectangular shape and chain 3. Make 3 double crochets, chain 2 and again 3 double crochets same space to form a corner and make three double crochets in spaces between the previous stitch to increase the size of this rectangular shape so here I have completed all these two rectangular shapes now it's time to join both pieces together from three sides. Now here I have joined all these three sides together. Now I'm going to attach zipper with this side using this zipper you can use any size of zipper I have used this one it's 
so make a mark on both sides from starting to ending side now so i'm going to use one millimeter crochet hook due to its sharp tip so insert hook from this side and make grab the yarn over and make one chain stitch on this made one chain line using this sharp tip crochet hook one millimeter crochet hook I have I'm making this single chain on this make one single crochet in each of these chain using the same crochet hook Here you can see I have completed one single crochet in each of the chain around this slipper line. Now cut off the extra zip. Now I am going to attach this with this pouch. So to attach it from the wrong side following the same rule and cut off the yarn insert hook from the first from the back of the loop of first stitch and also insert hook from the corner of this Zipper line chain. Make slip stitch. Insert hook in the back loop of this stitch and from the back loop of zipper line chain stitch and make a slip stitch. Again, following the same pattern, make slip stitch from both of the back loop from the back loop of both sides. Here you can see I have completed joining this zipper line with pouch. It's very simple and easy. And you can see it's done. Insert hook from the corner of and grab the yarn 
chain 30 I have made 30 chains and now insert hook from the same stitch and make one single crochet in each of the chain Now it's done. Insert hook from the same space and cut off the yarn. And now it's done. I hope you like my video so keep watching and stay tuned with my channel Dr. Crochet. Goodbye. Have a nice day.